I have decided I'm going to be taking on the role of a producer. How about this one? It's like, do you know when you're playing football with a toddler? Why in the world would you do that, Cal? You pay people to do that. How do you stop the recording? He's really smashing it. <laughs> I can chat all that all I want, but until I've actually done it myself, I feel like I don't really have room to say anything. Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. I'm back, and I need to ask you a favor once again. I need you to subscribe to the Fellas Studios YouTube to help me save my job. Remember this. If you can get this to 100k, you can keep your job. How about that? Well, that's crept up pretty fast. And there's now only 20 days left to get this channel to 100k by May. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week. He took all the Kit Kats out and ate them. And then I went to have a Kit Kat. Guess who didn't have a Kit Kat? Me. Wait, the alleged individual ate every single one of the Kit Kats. <laughs> he must have. There he is! my <laughs> case. I wanted a snack earlier, mm -hmm. went into the snack cupboard, didn't I, Stanley? Mm -hmm. A little bit peckish. Yeah. Wanted a Kit Kat. I go into the cupboard to restock. Mm. Guess what's missing? All the Kit Kats. Yeah, terrible, man. Honestly. Who was it, Stanley? Where did these snacks get here today? These snacks got here this morning. Yes. Then I put them in the cupboard. I put yeah. one packet of Freddos out yeah. and one packet of Kit Kats out. Yeah. The rest were all put in this cupboard. I went into this in cupboard. Case, and there's me not searching for the Kit Kats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, By the time I count to a Kit Kat, they were all, all gone. gone. So all you gone. decided to go in here. <laughs> but, what, but, why, but why are they all gone in the first place? I was the same. I wanted a Kit Kat. I went up. <laughs> I, I had a busy day, and uh, there was no Kit Kats in, in the box. And, and what does that mean? There's no Kit Kats in the box. That means everyone's eating them all. Exactly. And then what Damn. happens? They get we refilled. wait patiently till tomorrow, and they get refilled. Damn. And what did you do? I refilled. Yourself. And I took one. Yeah. I felt like it was only fair that we get an apology from Stanley. Mm -hmm. Rightly so. Yeah. Uh, and the wider team also deserved an apology. So earlier today, there was an incident in the office and Ness's snack cupboard was raided again. Ness had to issue a formal warning in the WhatsApp group with our snack benefits revoked. She also requested an apology in poem form. In the cupboard's dim lit tavern where the Kit Kats lay in peace. A moment of temptation, a craving that couldn't cease. I reach for the chocolate treasure, my fingers swift and sly. But remorse now floods my conscience as guilt begins to pry. For it seems, before my misdeeds, before my theft took flight, eight Kit Kats met their fate. Devoured their delight. In, other words. in desperate need of energy, after Tor's relentless stack, I echoed in the mantra. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> With each bite taken, innocence lost. A stolen on joy undone. Forgive me, dear colleagues, for the deed that I have done. ChatGPT cooked it up, but sure. Okay. It was, the, he helped. ChatGPT helped. It wasn't helped. from the heart, Stanley. Let's to be, be fair, honest. I'll give credit to Matt. He gave me the line of the have a break, have a Kit Kat bit. That so was the that best was quite, bit. That was, that was quite, actually yeah. the best bit. Yeah, that was Matt, so we'll have to okay, give credit to Matt so there. Okay, so Matt's done the apology yeah. for you. ChatGPT. <laughs> we live for ChatGPT, man. What a, what a brilliant invention. Right, this should now work. And then we have to just put the other one in with a different. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing at the moment? So we are working on a secret Hittite project um, and we are recording something new and different, but this is in a new studio. Uh, so we're not used to the setup. We're figuring out audio problems. We have about 20 minutes till Theo's here. And one thing everyone knows about Theo is he's a diva and here to be held waiting. So uh, we're on the time limit. Right, let's go on into input eight. Ah. Fuck me. It'll work now. It will. One, two. It's working. Ready for this? One, two, one, two. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Yes. One, two. Yes. 
What were Pitchside doing in the Cove? The territory of the hype report? Low IQ? Well, we're on our fellas' takeover. We are growing. We're expanding into new lands. We have dominated the football scene, and now we're off to dominate other stuff. Um, I can't really tell you too much, but hypothetically, what if we started a podcast not talking about football? That's not what we're doing, but hypothetically, would you watch it? I'm hypothetically going on the theory that people might enjoy it. So we are working on a secret project. It is happening as we speak, so stay tuned because hopefully, hypothetically, something might be happening. What's happening, bro? Proddy C 2.0 in here. Oh, don't you dare put me down like that. You know <laughs> the level of my quality is up, skis. I don't know, it's just a bit easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, no. I'm just winding you up. Lewis has pretty much done everything. I just have three cameras, by the way. Yeah, you fucking like that, Lewis? Yeah, man. Yeah, how about this one? You fucking like that? Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm, see, look, that's why the audio works. You're Having Freezy here, it's, it's, it's like, right? it's like, do you know when you're playing football with a toddler? And you let, you let them score and make them think that they're really good. <laughs> He's actually right as well. Did you score then? Of course, no, I scored and then, and then the coach has gone, fucking hell, he's gonna be a player, him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just want to explain what's actually going on in here? Uh, I can explain in the diary room for you. Cause yeah. right now you're interrupting my workflow. I have decided I'm gonna be taking on the role of a producer here at the Fellas Studios. It's just really important for me to understand in one of the most important positions at this company, why or how things get done. Aiden was going on holiday. I thought, let me take over from him and uh, give this a, l a little bit of a go. So all this week, you're gonna see me involved in all of those shows and also covering for a few other people. I believe Rosie is off. Sam asked if I could cover for her and absolutely, I stuck my hand up. I said, pick me, sir. I'd like to give this a whack. So with Aiden, Molly and Rosie all out of the office today, there was a shortage of producers and someone had to cover Saving Grace. Step forward, Cal Free. Time to get your hands dirty. There's a few things to look out for where things might go tits, tits up. If that ever starts flashing, um, stop the recording. Yeah. Cool, right. Well, I don't really understand what all the fuss is about. Go on, practice with the keys. Let's be writing notes down as I do it. He's really smashing it. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing to have Freezy as my producer. I'm it telling you, weird. you've got the best producer. It feels today. like a power trip today. I'm really enjoying you, it. Anything you want, Gracie, let me know. I don't know. I say so much. Rosie, yeah. this is a tutorial for you, eh? <laughs> We've come into an issue, which is how do you stop the recording? <laughs> do you not turn it off yet? <laughs> if, so there's a stop underneath, but I wanna, is it that or you just press the record again? Yeah. You press stop. But I don't want to press stop yeah. in case that's not what you're supposed to press. Remember when he was like giving it the big in? Oh, this is so easy. The lad can't stop the recording. We're gonna gamble here. Three, two, one. Damn, he's a fucking genius. Amazing. Jesus. Hey, what was it? Good luck with these. Oh, no, no, you, you really took really notes. Oh, Rosie's gonna hate you. I saw the stop button there, but you have to understand. I have just recorded an entire podcast. I think it is, ve in fact, it is an intelligent move to ask somebody to come in and just confirm by me pressing stop here, is that not only stopping the recording, but saving it as well and not discarding it? Because that's the type of rookie error someone would make. And I'm always a massive fan of, if you don't know, ask. So how did it go? It was great. Oh, how good am I though? Dude? You were good, although he disrupted the pod once because his big, Horse laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. It was a really funny moment and I giggled. Let me live. And I said, what? I yeah. thought I was just giggling away in the corner. It was quite funny. A little schoolboy. Yeah. He was good. I'm a big DP fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Compared to Rosie? Oh, yeah. No one. That. No one compares what? to Rosie. Grace absolutely preferred me as a producer to Rosie. There's, it's just, there's no way around it. Like I came with a level of professionalism. I also really made the guest feel at ease. We really bonded, we had a great time. And I think for me, it's gonna be one of her best ever episodes. Right, Ollie, we're down in a dungeon. Do you know what that means? No, I don't. This is where we shoot fellas loaded content. Let me, let me show you, let me show you. I've not really seen this before, you know. So I think a lot of people don't realize this. We have a whole extra room for Fellas Loaded content. And, and this is it. As you can see, 
the boys have had it set up for watching like reacting reaction content. So this is where they do like who's punching. We've also got these um these cool posters. So these posters are made of all of the different like specials we've done. So we've got all of them printed out into frames that we can just swap out for different shoots. Oh yeah, the YouTube guidelines thing. You'll know that from the loaded trailer. And they've got the Buckmore Park helmet as well. That's uh, another bit of iconography from one of our earlier specials. Well, not earlier specials. It was the first special we shot, but the most recent one to go out. Come here, Ollie. Come here. <clears throat> Little chair there with a microphone on it. And that you, means what exactly? Do you know what that's for? Do it's tell. For my show. My show, I've got my own show now on Feathers Loaded. I think that's the main thing really. We're able to be really experimental on Feathers Loaded and give proper Feathers podcast fans what they want. I'm not saying that that's what proper Feathers podcast fans want as in a podcast about me, but it gives us an opportunity to just try different things out and be way more experimental than having to, you know, pump commitment into something that goes out on YouTube. Like we know this is for the people that really are so integrated into the podcast and the culture that surrounds the podcast. So yeah, if you want to, you want to see me just chat some waffle, uh, I'm going to be getting guests on as well. Um, make sure you're signed up. So last week I recorded my first episode of podcast. Uh, absolute tapping of a name. I thought about it, yeah. Uh, I came, I didn't even think about any other names. I was like, this is the most obvious name for a, for a show. So yeah, essentially it's just me waffling to the camera for, it was like 35 minutes long. And how um, did you manage to wangle yourself a show? I don't know. I, I Actually, I do know because I said to the boys, here we go, here's a content idea for you that gives you a day off. I had a meeting with the boys. I said, look lads, I've got an idea. When we launch Fellas Loaded, I'd like to launch this show. And I showed them the name and I saw them both just sit there in silence, but they smiled uh, and I was like, right, cool. At least it's not falling on complete cold shoulders. Uh, and then, yeah, they were, they were happy enough to go ahead with it, which is great. It's not, not supposed to be some highly produced show. It's literally just me sitting down, talking about what I've been up to, things I enjoy. I have stuff. seen one clip from the show. Oh yeah, and what's that? Uh, about something involving a horse and a cat. So I did a little Q&A box on my Insta saying like, you know, ask me questions, which was the most stupid idea because I thought people could ask actual insightful questions like, how'd you get the job? Like any like sort of tips to getting into the industry, all of that. But someone asked like, would you rather get railed by a horse or rail a cat? Would you rather get railed by a horse or rail a cat? I'm going to give that some thought. Essentially, do you want your back blown out by a massive cock or do you want to cause, inflict pain onto something else with your massive penis? I'd probably have to take it from the horse, you know. I don't think I'd be able to like comfortably live with myself knowing that I've abused something like that. I'd rather be the one being the victim. That sounds awful. Broadcast out now on Feathers Loaded. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Leave a little feedback comment and also let me know who you'd like to see on there as well. Plenty more great things to come on Fellas Loaded. Right, that is everything then for this week. And if you're asking yourself why the vlog stops at Wednesday, it's because I've been away and only got back behind the camera at the start of the week. So a final reminder from me to subscribe to the channel and we'll be back with a full week of behind the scenes nonsense from the Fellas Studios at 6pm next Wednesday. See you then.